This is Tony K, and today's tip is how to join CD tracks in iTunes. I like to listen to audiobooks on my iPod, so I get just one track for each CD rather than dozens of tracks for each title. Let's do this! This tutorial is specifically for iTunes 11, but stick around even if you use a different version because I have one timely tip that may help solve your problem. After you put a CD into your computer, a box like this pops up showing all the individual tracks. I want to join them all together, so I select Command A to highlight them all. Next, go to the Options box near the upper right corner and click to get the drop down menu. This is where the choice to join CD tracks lives. But as you can see, it's simply not listed. In older versions of iTunes, the command to join CD tracks was located under Advanced but appeared in gray when it was unavailable. In iTunes 11, you just have to know that Join CD Tracks will appear under Options. So how do we get it to appear? And this is the key to this tutorial, no matter which version you use. Come up to the tiny arrow above the track numbers near the upper left corner. Click the arrow twice to reorder the tracks. I don't know why, but this nifty little trick usually is the key to making the Join CD Tracks command available. Click to join and a bracket will appear to the left of your selected tracks. Finally, choose Import CD, select your settings, and away you go. Thanks for watching. Click through to see even more timely tips and tricks. And I'll ski you later.